how it be my people so today we want to talk about color grading color grading and advanced color correction why I use the word advanced color correction and say first thing we need to do when you uh, when you work on video or picture now you go do color correction color correction at the temperature if you make white white you go make white white if you make blue blue you go make blue blue and once you get this color correction done correctly then you can do color color correction um they go with your contrast your saturation your highlights which is your uh, your highlight your shadow which is your dynamic range once you get this thing right and you get your temperature right now you can opt into color grading color grading nana to tweak the color of the video now the, the color grading will give your video mood if you want them to look epic you go look if you want them like something like romance you can make and get that romance feel if you want the nature feel you can get the nature feel so color grading are just like little push to your color correction to get advanced color feel when you finish your video and now within within they give you this color grading now cmy and rgb rgb now red green and blue you will get them for curve and you get them for level cmy now cyan magenta and yellow you will also get them for curve and you will also get them for level it also did for three week color wheel which consists of highlights shadow and mid-tones now i'm going to highlight shadow and mid-tones if you understand these three things your life go easy when it comes to color grading whether they use uh, whether they color grade picture they color grade video or they color grade anything as long as it comes to color grading are the same technique for different software now when you color grade you could get a particular color for your shadow you get the color for your highlights and you get the color for your mid tone most time for these things to be done now why people they shoot log log they make the video look flat and the shadow they did faded so when they add certain colors to shadow some would they retain for mid tones when they add certain colors for highlights some would they retain for mid tones so these two colors now from shadow and highlight will mix can get your mid tones and now now mostly mid tones you will just get your skin color so all these things are the talk as I did, as as I talk like this, you could display for screen how it work. So color grading is not really hard, provided you understand these basic things. If you if you want to do um, like the basic orange and teal, you get orange and teal, you get blue and yellow, you get um, red and dead green or mostly color and teal. You know, so you get teal, you get blue. These two, these colors now they work with even magenta. Said if you use magenta and yellow, magenta and yellow, what tell you they give you? Magenta and yellow they give you. you get how you go to them. It will give you gold skin. As I talk, I'm going to do them. Now the the magenta. When you go give you magenta, now how you tweak the color? You understand? So you get you get different ways to achieve different colors. You understand? So for you to for you to achieve a perfect skin tone, you will make them get that good feel. Some persons they prefer more of red. Some persons, some persons they saturate their colors. Some persons they prefer greens. On Kobe gauge, and they in the like more of reds for in skin. The manual you look, they like more of that good feel for in skin. Beige, they like the green feels for in color grading, and they affect the skin. So if you notice red, orange, green, orange they close to red. If you see your hue and saturation, it they come from orange to green. So if you know how to use that slider, it will save you a lot of work when it comes to skin tone. Once you get your skin tone right, if you add any color for highlights, if you add any color for shadow, and your picture will make perfect sense. So this video now, now just how color grading B. but thank you say you did see this point of the video i better not forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like this video don't forget to drop your comments when well, i don't forget to always share our video as well make a lot of people who say he kept people when you do photography tutorial in pidgin english thank you it's now one record again it will be see we just come back from Bozzy wedding so if you notice
with ID so excited based on the wedding after party and all. But today, Heidi B, today we want to talk about color grading. This is now our first video for 2023. So, we'll talk about color grading. First thing we you need to understand about color grading now, your skin tone. If you get your skin tone, every color you apply will work. Every color you apply for your highlights, your shadow, and your mid tone. You know these three things. Once you get these three things right, your color grading will, will make so much sense. I won't talk something, but I don't want to use that word because now nah, um, tutorial video will do so we get some words we I need to censor. But first of all, when you want color grade, you need to understand the um, RGBD, CMYD. These two colors they complement each other. You understand? You get your basic, you get your secondary, and you get complementary colors. So your RGB and CMY they complement each other to get anything where you want. If you use like if you line up R O G and B, line up C M and Y. You will see R O the 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 um work with C, which is R O na red, C na cyan, G na green, and C M G na green, M na magenta. So those two they work. Then uh what's in the color B na blue Y na yellow. So when you use these two, you know if, if you want to if you want to skin tone, the basic things where you need for skin tone. Make a start Amma we will see the talk eh that I like a monot. We will continue.